Lights, camera, have a seat. Welcome to the Jackie O Show. My name is Jackie O. I'll be your host of the show right here on ALC TV. Well, I'm excited to announce our next guest who's in the studio here today. He's done a lot of work in the nonprofit sector, and he was recently appointed the new director of the Avon Lake Public Library. Please help me welcome William Rutger. So you were just recently appointed as the new director of the Avon Lake Public Library. So tell us, um, how is it going so far? It's been great. A, a few weeks in, um, and it has just been an exceptional experience already too. Mm -hmm. I had the good fortune of knowing Mary, um, mm -hmm. my predecessor for many years, and I knew of all the wonderful things that she was doing here at the library mm -hmm. and everything the library did and the reputation that this library and community has outside of the area is um, is remarkable. I just, I come across mm -hmm. so many people when I say Avon Lake, they have only good things to say. So I was thrilled to come into a situation that I could be a part of this and I'm getting to know the staff, getting to know the community and just really uh, taking my time to listen and learn. That's the first part of um, coming into this. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Already so much going on and everything else like really? that. Actually this weekend I stopped at the festival yeah. um, up on the lake and uh -huh. everything else That's like great. that too. And just seeing all the, the hustle and bustle in town. It's amazing. So tell us now that you're in this seat, um, what kind of vision do you have? Uh, do you have a big picture vision of where you want to take the library or? I really want to grow what we've already done here too. Again, so much has mm -hmm. been accomplished here um, in the years. It really is a cornerstone of the community. I mean, that is part mm -hmm. of the excitement of coming into this position too, to see the outpouring of love and mm -hmm. value that the community has for right. this library and, and ensuring that that continues. Mm -hmm. um, I've told people it's one thing to get it up to that level, it's another thing to maintain it. And that's where a lot of the hard work comes in too because the bar has been set. Mm -hmm. So now making sure that we stay at that and try to go above it is really gonna be the challenge. But um, at the end of the day, it's about making the library a destination and um, a cornerstone in the community where people wanna come and you know, plan their day around it, um, plan their week around it, have, uh, have it be a part of their uh, everyday life. And yeah. there are tons of ways to accomplish that. And as, as we always say, we're more than just books. We, yeah. we offer a variety of resources right. and services and just being a community place where people can come and discover. Yeah, exactly. You just hit on something really big there. Um, and I think that libraries are one of the most underutilized resources that are available at our grasp right now. I mean, we, we are living in an information and a technology age right now. And I think sometimes maybe the library can get overlooked. So tell us a little bit more about that. Like See. what is here that people could be, you know, really zeroing in on despite the fact that there's all this information available on the internet and Absolutely. social media. Yeah, and, and it's funny because people do always pick it up when you, oftentimes when you say you work at a library, people mm -hmm. think immediately of the books and, and think of us as dated. And what they don't realize is how dependent um, our world is mm -hmm. on technology. And not everybody has that access at home. Mm -hmm. And that's a fundamental um, role that the libraries that's a play good point. in the community between our public access mm -hmm. computers, our expertise with our staff and training on how to use it. Mm -hmm. Because just having the computer and having access to the internet doesn't mean that you are able to navigate it. And so much of today's, you know, mm -hmm. jobs, if you're hunting for a job, if you're doing training, if you're trying to get uh, school supplies, anything, you know, any kind of information requires uh, access. Mm -hmm. And what the library does is continues to provide that too. Mm -hmm. um, and one fun thing here at, at this library mm -hmm. is we actually offer hotspots. You can mm -hmm. actually check out the internet and take it home. So if you don't have access uh, at your own home, you can come to the library and check out a hotspot. How does that work? Oh you check God. it out. It's a wire. It's just, it works like a wireless okay. um, internet. Uh huh. You check out the device and oh. you log on and you get it for a week. And so you can actually, is it like a computer or a tablet? No, it's, or it looks phone? like a little, like an old a small cellular phone. I mean, just a little black box. Oh my um, it comes with a USB cord. You know, you can charge it oh. and do all that stuff too. But it's independent of any computer. You don't need to okay. have another device with it. You just hook up your devices to it too. And it works on Wi-Fi. So wow. you plug it in and have it charge. And actually it even has a battery. So you can take it on the 
the go. So if you're traveling, say, for a few days oh and you gosh. want you know, to have internet access, reliable internet access, you can check it out here at the library, wow. too. So, so yes, I've taken that. I've checked it out before. Um, a few libraries in the state offer them, um, including our library. But it's a great little feature for those who yeah. don't have that immediate access, too. And like I said, even just coming into the library, too, we offer Wi-Fi. We have public access computers, you know, things like that people don't always think about at right. the library. Um, and not to mention our collection, too. I mean, mm -hmm. just beyond the books, um, it's still funny to talk to people that don't realize here at the library you can come and check out DVDs. Mm -hmm. And we have TV shows, things like that, too. Um, and, you know, in addition to the wealth of knowledge that we have, there's an entertainment quality to uh, library services that yeah. really is there for folks.